What is up all you sexy people and yes even you guys today are sexy because today you're watching Case and Issue with C and I and underscore Junior. What is up all you sexy people? Now today is going to be something extremely special that I am really excited to make a series on this channel because it is going to help me a lot. Now, before we get into this, I want to let you guys know before we jump in that there is going to be a lot of loud n voices, I guess. My voice is going to escalate up and down. It's gonna, it's just gonna go everywhere. I, <laughs> so if there is yelling, it's, I, I apologize because there's, there most likely won't be any yelling, but if there happens to be, just go ahead and turn your volume down right now because today we are starting a new series. What's up? So today the series is gonna be called the Rage series. Now, if you're wondering what this is and he may, if you're thinking, oh, in his last channel, he made the a Rage series where he was pranking people and, or making people mad. Now, yes, I did do that, but this is something completely different, and I think that this, along with the other series that are going to be coming on my channel pretty soon, within the week, and I'm excited for it, and I am hope you guys are excited for it as well, is going to make this channel go everywhere. It's going to make it extremely, it's going to add a variety to this channel. It's going to make it, like I said in the intro, it's going to be, in the intro of my channel, that is, it's going to explode this channel out of the water. So, I, as you can tell, I'm probably sound really exciting. That's because I really am. Let's get started into this because I have a lot to rage about. So today I'm going to rage about one specific topic and that is people trying to make it. Okay, let me rephrase that. People making a scene when there shouldn't be. Okay, let me let me clear a little bit out of the air. Now this is going to probably be me jumping around because this is raging when you're mad. You want to rage. You want to get up. You want to put on a tutu. I mean, what? I didn't say a tutu. I said you want to eat a... I don't know. I, 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 I was trying to help myself. It didn't work out so well. So we're just going to leave that alone. But it is... I work at Target. If you guys didn't know, I work at Target. I work in the cafe area that we have. But I also sometimes work as a cashier. Now what happens... When you have a cashier shift, you meet a lot of people. You talk to a lot of people. You make some people mad. You make some people happy, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know me. I try to make everybody happy. I try to make it fun. I talk to all my customers. I try to make them laugh. I try to do everything that I can to make their time there enjoyable, make time go by faster. So we're not just standing there awkwardly staring at each other with our buck teeth, making all the most awkward faces. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, so I... So Whenever I'm, whenever I'm ca cashing all these people out and everything and I've got a line, I jumped, at this point in time, it wasn't actually a cashier shift. It was, they asked me if I could jump on a cashier, not literally jump on a cashier, do a little pokey pokey or something on there. No, we, they wanted us to jump, get on there and just ring people out for a few minutes and go back to what I was doing, just to help. It was really busy. So I did that. I did that. Everything was going good, okay? But then this lady decided there's mind you there's I'm helping out a lady I'm checking her her items out everything like that and I'm helping her but there is a I, I was only supposed to be there for five minutes so I turned off my light to let people know in the line you know this register is now down so this lady supposedly thought it was a great idea to being that she is like the third or fourth person in there that as soon as I turned the light off she asked me you know is the register closed now yes ma'am it's closed. I'm going somewhere. Well, then I just ain't buying nothing if that's what you mean. I've been waiting in this line. Like, what the hell, girl? What you doing? You just have a little bipolar issue. You need to go and stick a tampon up there. You need to do something. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it just flipped. And I just looked there. Looked at the... It was a guy, actually. Sorry. It was a guy. It was a guy that, was, that I was um, ringing his items out. Okay. So, this guy and me are looking at each other. We were like... It was like as if we saw our first love for the first time. We were each other's first love. We were just staring so deep into each other, each other's eyes. We were like, yeah, we know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so this guy, this guy and me are looking at each other, and we're like, yeah. We're thinking, you know, the ESPN thing, when you see somebody make a certain look, you know what they're talking about. So he's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. We both give each other the same look, and we're like, this stupid idiot. We don't, this girl, she, this lady, 
older lady. She's not she's not elderly. She's just older. She's probably in her forties, fifties, somewhere around there. She she wants to sit there and she goes, I am just I've been waiting this line forever and I just can't believe that this line is off now. You know what? I, I just won't buy nothing. I just won't buy nothing. And I'm like, what the fuck is don't buy nothing then? You had I think she had like probably two items in her hand. It was enough to be able to hold in one hand. It wasn't bags. It was little boxes, as if it was probably a car charger, or it was a phone charger, or something. It was a little box! And she's like, I just can't believe this! Blah, blah, there's uh, there's 50 other lanes right there! There's probably like, there was probably, there's, I, if I remember correctly, there's 20 lanes, 10 in front, 10 in back. Yeah, there's 20 lanes. We had about 5 or 6 open. Okay, what you can do is get your lazy ass up, walk to another lane, and wait two minutes. Huh. What happened? Oh my gosh, my items are checked out. I didn't have to make a scene. Oh, yeah. You didn't have to make a scene. So the lady walks off in the whole time. Now, mind you, my... I, she's called a team leader, a team leader, uh, or LOD, I believe she's an LOD, we call her the LOD, she's a leader on duty, we have several of those throughout the store, they're the people that are over the certain sections of the store, so in this case, this, I'm not gonna say any names, but this lady, she, her, she was standing there, the LOD, she was standing there, and she was walking by, she paces in front, in, in front of the cashiers to make sure everything's going okay, so this lady, she walks past me. She's standing She's standing pa right beside the register. I just don't buy nothing then. I just don't care. And she walks past the LOD. You know what? He had this light on and he just turned it off. And I was waiting in the line for five minutes. I just won't buy nothing then. This is outrageous. She says that as she's passing by, she looks at the LOD, tells her these things, and keeps walking. And I'm like, what the fuck? Just keep walking. You don't have to say anything. I don't know if this girl was on her period or what. I'm sorry to those women out there that are that take offense to that. I don't mean any offense. It's just saying, you know, you flip out. She might be bipolar or something. But don't flip out in public. Now, flipping out in front of your in in front of your family members is one thing, but in public, that's just embarrassing yourself. Me. I don't get embarrassed, as you may have noticed from me being freaking an idiot on on these two channels. It's you can be yourself and you don't have to flip out and try to embarrass somebody because it wasn't embarrassing me. I literally looked at the guy and told him as soon as the lady walked off, she got out of the start. She looked happy, pissed off. She probably got it, went and I don't know. She needed sex. That's what she needed. <laughs> That's what she needed. So, um, so she walks out and I look at the guy, you know, you know, it's, I don't understand people like that. And the guy, the guy and me went back and forth, back and forth together. We were just explaining, you know, it doesn't make any sense why people think it's okay to do that. Why do they, what in their mind tells them, hey, let's yell a little bit. Let's make a little people scared. Let's make that child over there wet themselves all over their parent. I don't know. It's, it's exactly what they, they, they don't take into consideration everything that is going on around them, the people around them. So it's kind of really frustrating to me why they would do that in public. If you're in public, I'm saying this to everybody, just as something to say. That's what I'm going to do in these videos. I'm going to just say something. I'm not pointing you guys out. I'm just saying in general. You probably already knew that. I'm just going off on chasing rabbit. Anyways, so if you're going to be in public, something happens. You know, there's something. The, the cashiers, they've probably had a long day depending on what time it is. And I've been there for, for probably five hours already. So, you know, I'm not in the – I'm not – going to be extremely energetic. I'm not going to be extremely happy about everything. So it kind of frustrates me. So, yeah. Anyways. So, you know, I was just standing there, minding all my business, and then an all heifer lady want to run around and just start yelling about stuff. So if you're in public, mind the other people around you. Please don't yell. Don't make a big, don't make a big fuss about something. The people there have probably been working for several hours already. They just want to go home. That's what they want. Now, if something happens, a lane shuts off, that's what happens. Lane shut off. They're not going to stay all day there. What do you think? Those people are just going to sit there and pull up a couch and just sit there all night? No! They're going to get, they're going to get, have to leave at some point. There were other registers. You can easily walk over to one, even if one, if there's only one cashier register there. Come on. Just, just go! Anyways. 
That's all I have to say for this episode. I'm trying to make these episodes at least 10 minutes long, or at max 10 minutes long, so I'm going to try to do my best here. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to hear more of the things that I rage about and I get angry about all the time, please let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Did it make you laugh? Did it make you interested? Did you want to see more? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Let's try to get 15 likes for this amazing rage video. And this has been Case at Issue with you guys today. Remember, stay sexy. Goodbye!